We were told AI would make us smarter, more productive, more creative. But now three major studies say otherwise. They show that AI isn't just changing how we work. It's quietly eroding how we think. It is actually making us dumber. In August 2025, a team of researchers published a study in The Lancet. They tracked 19 experienced doctors performing colonoscopies, each with over 2,000 procedures under their belt. After just three months of using AI to assist with tumor detection, their performance dropped. When they stopped using AI and had to go back to using their thinking brains, their detection rate dropped from 28% to 22%. That's a 20% decline in spotting benign tumors. Even seasoned professionals begin to miss things. What happened here? AI prompted doctors to become less motivated, less focused, and less responsible when making cognitive decisions without AI. The second case is a study by MIT in which we have done a deep dive. It ran a four-month study on students using ChatGPT to write essays. They scanned their brains using EEG and tracked memory retention. The results, 47% lower brain connectivity. 83% of the students couldn't even recall one sentence that was written in their essay. And when asked to write without ChatGPT, they were lost. They couldn't organize their thoughts. They couldn't express themselves. What's the takeaway? The task was executed efficiently using ChatGPT, but none of it was integrated into memory networks. If your main goal is learning, then ChatGPT is not the way to write the essay. MIT called this process cognitive debt. The brain just stopped learning. It just outsourced it. Now let's look at the third study, which looked at 666 participants across age groups. It measured how often people relied on AI and how that affected their ability to think critically. Their findings were clear. Frequent AI users scored lower on critical thinking. Younger users showed the highest cognitive offloading. They defaulted to AI even for basic reasoning. What is the learning here? AI tools are becoming cognitive prosthetics, but unlike physical aids, they weaken the very muscle they support. When asked to think without AI, many froze. They didn't just use AI, they were leaning on it, and their mind stopped showing up. Your brain is a muscle. Use it or lose it. AI should be a tool, not a crutch because the more we rely on it, the less we remember how to think. So finally, think first, then use AI.